Today is the defense ministers. And we are going to talk with the defense ministers about the military situation in the ground, how the war in Ukraine is going on. And the purpose is to coordinate well what the member states are doing on their side and what we can do with this half a billion euros that uh, yesterday we decided to grant to the Ukrainian armed forces. You know that this half a billion of euros will be devoted to provide defensive arms, but uh, high caliber arms, anti-tanks, all kind of equipment in order to repel the aggression. And member states have to provide these arms and we have to coordinate with what they are doing and what we can do additionally with these resources. The fight is fierce, Kiev is resisting, Kharkov is resisting, Mariupol is resisting, and Russia is paying a high toll on number of casualties. But we have to provide the munition, we have to provide the high caliber guns and anti-tank equipment. Also fuel. They need fuel for the tanks, for the planes, and all that has to be coordinated. Secondly, today in Belarus there is a referendum, let's call it referendum, a fake referendum, in order to decide to amend the constitution and to grant uh, to Belarus the status of nuclear country. This is very dangerous. If we start changing the status of country becoming nuclear, we know what does it mean for Belarus to be nuclear. It means that Russia will put nuclear weapons in Belarus. And this is a very dangerous path. So I made a call to the Belarusian people to, in order to protest against the decision and also to protest against the aggression from Belarus to Ukraine. This is going to be a very complex defense minister, but everybody agrees. Yesterday, everybody agreed, only three partial constructive abstentions. So the United of the Europeans are very strong, as strong as the resistance of the Ukrainians.